Welcome back or to my channel today's video we are giving the frogs a completely new enclosure so I was doing some research recently on converting them to more of a horizontal rather than height tank which immediately you think for White's tree frogs like oh my gosh that's completely wrong that's abusive but doing further research and talking to multiple different people who have owned White's tree frogs for years and breeders um, it's actually almost better for them to have more horizontal space than height. I mean, you still want them to have at least a foot or two high to climb, but they don't need a super, super tall, thin vertical tank. It's actually better to have more width and space as they are kind of just lazy, fat frogs. The main reason I am doing this is because of space. They are currently in a 40 gallon tank for three frogs. So that's 13.3 gallons per frog, which sounds like a good enough amount, but it just feels like there's not enough space and bottom's not even full grown. And I would eventually like to get a golden white tree frog maybe in the next six months or so. So I thought if I converted them now and once I add eventually a golden white tree frog to my final <laughs> frog colony, to finish it off they will all have 18.7 gallons for each of the four and currently there's three so if you want to do the math on that you can i didn't do the math but they probably will have like 20 some gallons each right now as it's just a trio so with everything being said let's jump in and start converting them i'm so excited for this and i'll keep you guys updated um, on my instagram so if they don't end up liking it i will bring them back into their of course normal enclosure but i think they'll really like it so right now the main plan is to take these off and completely clean the enclosure. I did clean it a few months ago, but of course it's going to be dusty and there was mice and a hamster living in it prior, obviously at different times, but it just has a lot of dust from the bedding and everything, so that's what we're going to do first. Now the tank is pretty much fully clean, but I did take my dustpan out and take any other little particles I physically could as amph amphibians are quite sensitive to most things, so I had to make sure it was completely scrubbed down and after this it was time to finally start decorating. I would eventually like to use frog foam, but I know a lot of people that like to just use paper towel. I personally don't because paper towel gets dirty very quickly, especially with humid animals, and you have to clean it out weekly, and I think that's just a lot of added stress in my opinion, so I'm using a cypress mulch mix that is safe for amphibians that has no dye or any type of scent or anything like that, and it is a completely like all natural organic uh, substrate, and they seem to use it perfectly fine, and there's I've never had any issues with it. I personally don't like removing all of their stuff while they're in their enclosure so I did move them to a critter keeper just temporarily while I took all their stuff out to begin decorating their new enclosure. So at this point we have the base of everything, this is just the wood and the froggy dish so far. So here is what it looks like and now it's time to add foliage and everything else.
here is what I decided on for the enclosure. I'm sorry for the bad glare, but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to mist it and get their heat pad set up. And then I'm going to introduce them to their new enclosure. Their enclosure is all set up. Here it is. Without a glare, this is what it looks like. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Right now the frogs are obviously in a little bit of distress. They don't really know where everything is. So I'm going to give them a few days to just completely adjust and get used to it and try to be as calm as I physically can when I'm in here so they can adjust easier and quicker. If they don't end up enjoying more horizontal space than vertical, I will easily move them back. If they don't enjoy where they are, of course I'm not gonna force them to stay there, but I'm gonna give it at least four to five days before any decisions are made because I don't want to jump to something too quick and then switch them back already and then they're just going to be in so much stress from going to one place from another to another again. So uh, yeah, with everything being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for the bad glare. It's just we have a really bright window in here so um, it's easy to get a lot of glare off the enclosures but I will see you guys next time if you want any more updates on their enclosure um, and how they're adjusting to it. That will be on my Instagram which is Emmy's Pets. I have all my social medias in the description and I'll see you guys next time. I love you so much. Stay awesome. Bye guys.